just made the argument for H.R. 899, uh, which is my bill to end the Federal Department of Education. I, I appreciate uh, the gentlelady's comments about her experience on the school board and the unfunded mandates that come from uh, the Department of Education. I hear the same thing from my school boards complaining about this. And then I also heard the other side of the aisle uh, already talk about, say that Republicans want to create a national school board that we want to nationalize our school system. Mr. Scott, can you explain how a 30-page bill can take a 4,000-person bureaucracy and, and morph it into a national school board or how that nationalizes our school system, how Ms. Fox's 30-page bill could fundamentally change the nature of this? Um, well... <clears throat> Federal, I'm, I'm the, sorry, the, I'm putting the, you on the spot. I'm no, asking no, no, you the, to the, defend. The, the federal, uh, well, I'll just begin with a federal right of action to talk endlessly before the local school board. If you're a school board member, you would question the federal right of action, somebody coming in with a with an injun federal injunction requiring the school board to listen to each and every one of 100 people that show up because they have an individual right to endlessly address the school board. Uh, I don't think that the federal government ought to be dictating how you address the school board. And every school board gives uh, opportunity for public comment. And most of them have some reasonable limitation, like three minutes or five minutes, um, but not endless and not as a result of a federal cause of, federal cause of action. In terms of um, um, the listing every book that you've got in, in, the, in the library up to date to the minute, um, making that searchable on a national basis. Yeah, that um, uh, subjects every elementary school library to a, um, uh, a, Is a campaign. It, isn't that just a like a card, a computerized card catalog? I remember when I was in grade school and I went to public school, K through 12, uh, don't libraries pride themselves on having a list of every book and its, uh, and its number and, and they teach you how to search that? And it, it seems to me like they're all computerized at this point. So just making that outwardly facing doesn't seem like it turns what's already a 4,000 bureaucrat agency into a national school board. I want to give uh, Ms. Fox a, a chance to talk about that because that was the accusation from the other side of the aisle, that this bill will is evidence that Republicans want a national school board, that we want to nationalize our school system. It looks, and, and by the way, I'm full disclosure again, I've got a bill, I urge everybody to co-sponsor it, that's concerned about the federal government's overreach uh, within the Department of Education. But I just find it somewhat laughable, not laughable, I want to laugh at the other side. I, I find it incredulous to believe that adding two or three things to the list of things that 4,000 bureaucrats already do is somehow magically going to create a national school board that doesn't already exist in some fashion. So, Ms. Fox, I'd, I'd like for you to have a chance to comment on the other side of accusation. any more control coming back to the federal government in terms of education. I pick up my copy of the Constitution all the time and point out the word education is not in there as one of our responsibilities. It's not, not an enumerated power. However, the way I always say it is, we're into education. Uh, again, I wouldn't have had anything to do with that if I had control over it, but we're in it, and so again, the idea now is to make what we have as transparent and accountable as we possibly can. I'm totally opposed to more federal control over education. Right now, uh, uh, as Ms. Scanlon has said, I think she said a small amount of money goes to the schools. Most of it is, does come from the local and state governments. But we already have tremendous control over the schools through the accretion 
of the federal bureaucrats taking control and telling schools what to do, issuing guidance, not rules, not going through the regular process. So I am totally opposed to a national school board. And I would never present legislation that would get us anywhere closer to that. So, I mean, my characterization of this bill from a conservative, from my conservative standpoint, it's, it's one of 435 viewpoints, is that, you know, I don't think this Department of Education at the federal level should exist. I think right. parents, school boards, and states should decide the curriculum and how and what teachers teach. Uh, but if we aren't going to get rid of this organization, if it's going to exist, the least bad thing it can do is require transparency. Correct. And so uh, with that, I have no further comments, and I yield back to Chairman. Gentlemen from Colorado is recognized for questions. Always tricky there. Uh, I thank the Chairman, uh, and I thank the Chairwoman and the Ranking Member for being here uh, today and to discuss 